Good morning, everyone. I've pressed go live. I think I'm live. I hope I'm live. Uh, it's a funny old morning, all a bit drizzly and grey. Uh, but that's why it's so good to be starting our day looking at this beautiful psalm. We're continuing our way through the psalms and we're asking the Lord to retune our hearts to sing the songs of our King. It's lovely just to notice out of the corner of my eye, uh, Lindsay and Jojo and Steve and Angus and Sam all arriving. Uh, really great that we're doing this together. There's just a lovely sense of that when people wave in the, the live chat. And I've just found it really encouraging, actually, to know that I'm not doing this alone. Psalm 20. I'm going to read, make some comments, pray, and we'll head out into our day. Psalm 20, for the director of music, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the, may the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know. The Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. Verse seven some trust in chariots some in horses but we trust in the name of the lord our god i think we, we've seen time and again that the fate of the people is tied up with the fate of the king the you in those first few verses is singular the people are singing may the lord answer your prayers and they're singing to the king may the lord remember verse three the sacrifice that you've made may the lord verse four give you you our king the desire of your heart may the lord make all your plans succeed and verse five May we shout for joy over your victory. If you triumph, we will shout for joy. Do you see how the fate of the people is tied to the fate of the king? And I think in verse six, the king is now speaking and the king reassures his people and says, now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He does answer him from his heavenly sanctuary and with the victorious power of his right hand. The king is really confident of victory. He's reassuring his people. That's the, the pattern we've seen, isn't it, from the start, how the Lord gives victory to his chosen king. Do you remember how David killed Goliath? The Lord gives victory to his chosen king. And so the people go, oh, yes, verse 7, yes, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And the thing about horses and chariots is they're pretty powerful. If you've got them, you think you're going to be okay. You've got chariots, you've got horses, you've got power. And if you've not got them, you worry that you're not going to be okay, that you're vulnerable. Back in Deuteronomy 20, the Lord tells his people a very important and very precious thing. He says, if you go to war and the enemy has chariots and horses, 
you're not to be afraid. Why? He says, because the Lord your God is with you, who brought you out of Egypt. You see, you're not to be afraid because horses and chariots are powerful, but the God who is with you is more powerful than horses and chariots. Because remember the Red Sea. Chariots, well, their wheels get stuck in the mud and Pharaoh's army get drowned and the Lord keeps his people safe. And so we sing, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. See, we've learned to sing this song over the years. It's not blind faith. To trust in his name is to trust in who he is and what he has done. And we've seen what he's done. We've seen who he is. We've seen it in history. We remember the victories he's given his king. And friends, in this world, we find ourselves in the thick of a battle. A battle that's real. A battle that perhaps we don't make enough of. And the question is, in this battle, will evil triumph? Will sickness and death prevail? What are the things that we trust in? The things that make us think that we'll, we'll, we'll be okay? The horses and chariots perhaps you thought you'd be okay because you had a pretty secure job the last few months have shown us that the things that we trust are not as powerful as we thought that we can't put our trust in a job we can lose it just like that we can't put our trust in a bank balance as a nation we've been kind of looking to the nhs and, and we should cheer and thank the, the people who are working selflessly in the NHS at great risk. But there is a danger that as a nation, we're kind of putting our trust in the NHS. We're saying it's all going to be OK because we've got horses and chariot. We've got the NHS. Friends, the NHS may flatten the curve, but can't save us from our enemy can't save us from death one out of one will die and if if we've put our trust in horses and chariots and jobs and the nhs uh, haven't the last few months just shown us that they don't have power to save us N not from our enemy not from death and this song is teaching us to to sing a song of one who does have power. We, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but that, that's not us. No, no, we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And it's not blind faith. We, we trust in who he is and what he has done because we remember, we remember the victory he has given his king, the king, great David's greater son. Think Colossians 2, how our king went to war and triumphed on the cross. Paul writes, it's by his death he disarmed the powers and authorities that held us captive to sin and death. They have no hold on us. And think of how by his resurrection he has showed himself to be the conquering king whose kingdom is for all and forever. So in the face of the battle that rages, we, we sing this song. We sing this song confident of victory, looking forward to singing with joy and waving our banners in the victory parade. Verse 5. And when we're singing this song, we're not kind of whistling in the dark. The fate of the people is tied to the fate of the king. And there will be a victory parade because our king has triumphed. And that's why Paul says we are more than conquerors. We will be OK. We will win, not because of the jobs we've got or the money in the bank or the NHS, not because of horses and chariots, but because of him. 
And friends, maybe today the Lord is challenging you to stop putting your trust in horses and chariots, to stop thinking if I had a bit more money or a more secure job or better health care, I'd be okay. Horses and chariots don't have the power you think. He does. He has power over our great enemy. He alone defeats death. So trust in him. Put your life in his hands. And if you do that, you need to know he will never let you go. He is totally committed to his people. Look at the cross. And the point is that the, the king's plans will succeed. He's not going to leave his plan of salvation half finished. He will see it through. And one day his defeated enemies will be finally destroyed enemies. And he will set up his great kingdom. And we will reign with him. And when we sing this psalm, that's what this psalm is teaching us to look forward to. Let's be quiet and I'll pray. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Paul writes, where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? Thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we want to say that we're sorry for when we put our trust in chariots and horses. And we want to recognise afresh that our only hope in the face of the enemy, in the face of death, is the victory of your king. And so we pray that today would be a day in which we, we trust you, in which we put our lives in your hands. Today would be a day when we, we sing this song, this song of victory, and we sing it with confidence, and we sing it with joy, and we sing it all because of our conquering King, the great Lord Jesus. Amen. Have a great day, everyone.